Yo, you know something? You mentioned a lot of names during this interview. What was some of the artists that were signed to Bad Boy when y'all were signed? Shannon, Sherry Dennis, um, Kane, um, That's all I can remember right now. I know it's it a lot, a lot of us, but I'm the one who actually brought French Montana up in there to do a Cocaine City DVD before he got ever got thought about getting signed or, or doing any business with Puff. Lexus was the uh, 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 um, um, she was the intern that's working in Daddy's house, and she knew French Montana. She asked me that I want to do an interview. And I asked her who it was, and she was like, the nigga French Montana, he do the Cocaine City DVDs. And I'm like, all right, fuck it, let him up. I was in there recording for some other shit, some other shit Puff wanted me to do. And I had let him up in there, and this was around the time that they wanted me to battle the nigga Shells on the Fight Club. That's when the Fight Club started getting crazy, because after me and Jay Mills did our battle on TV, that's when the battle shit went up through the roof. So that's why I say I'm one of the pioneers. Yeah, it's always been battle rap before me and Mills battle, but we highlighted it on a highly publicized and highly popular MTV reality series, which was making the band. So after that, I'm getting all the calls to battle. Even Puff wanted to do the rematch for the, for the third season, but I said no because the shit that me and Jay Mills went through started spilling over in the street. Like I got approached by them niggas at the Mix Show Power Summit in Puerto Rico, and like you know what I'm saying, them niggas was real street niggas. So you know what I mean, you know niggas was getting on DVDs talking their shit, and then I had you know seen them down in Puerto Rico. And they, you know what I mean, they got in me, me and Mills got into it, niggas surrounding me. I was by myself, mind you. So that yeah, I got I got I got some stories. I got some stories. So but Puff was keep pushing it for the uh for the rematch. But I'm like, nah, Puff, there's just too much bad energy, man. Niggas is like niggas is moving funny, and I'm just trying to be done with that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm in New York. I don't have the protection that I would have if I was in Philly. Niggas gotta drive damn to two hours, even when me and Babs went through our little shit over the hair. She was calling niggas from Brooklyn. Even though she didn't say she was calling niggas, niggas was coming here just to check on her well-being, and they pulled up. But being that I'm in Philly close, niggas was pulling up the same time her niggas was pulling up. Mayno, all them niggas pulled up. June Balloon, everybody. So Babs was, was, a, was a real chick from the street back then. She had real niggas pulling up. And Tone, they, they, they was the guys that yeah. was behind one to blow that got J. Mill signed. And him and Puff was good friends. That's why I really never went too far. But, yeah, Mills felt some way because, you know, it, it was the DVD era. And I was watching DVDs, and, you know, Vado is J. Mills' man. You know, Vado, that be with Cam and shit like that, that's J. Mills' guy. So it was DVDs, but they was like, fuck Ness. So I would see that. I would go in my DVD interview say, fuck Mills, fuck one to blow. And then the shit spilled out in Puerto Rico. Like I said, I was by myself. I ain't held, I held it down. I ain't bitch. The niggas definitely surrounded me on some shit. Mm. Yo, th that battle is like one of the, the highlight moments. Because you done battled everybody. But that's one of them highlight moments in your battle career. Probably because it was it was live. It was it was filmed. Is there no, anybody sure. who, who gave you a, a, a crazy, difficult time when it came to that battling? Or for you, I, I don't mean, know nobody ever, is ever, ever going to give me a difficult time. Will they say some hot lines and get some reactions? Of course. Anybody, it's like, you know what I mean? If you play ball, you play ball. You know what I mean? Even if you, you know what I'm saying, playing Jordan, you're going to get a shot on them. You know what I'm saying? You, you good for one. So niggas might, you know what I mean, but I'm 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 one of the greats. So when you say something against one of the greats, it's always gonna be highlighted. There's gonna be a big emphasis around it. So nobody gives me trouble. Now, when it comes to a thing where if I had enough time to prepare and be prepped for, like when I battled Jay Mills, I knew I was battling Mills, but I didn't know I was battling at that moment. Yeah, we was at the studio. We were set to be recording, ready to get in the studio to record. They put the whole Jay Mills shit on me 
at a, at a moment. Matter of fact, I'm lying. They did call me and say he was around the studio talking shit. Nobody can fuck with him and all that. They did give me the call. So we actually was in the studio waiting for them to come. But then it was in the wee hours of the night. I was back in, in, in B Lounge sleep. So they're like, million America, come on. So like I woke straight up on my sleep and, and battle. It wasn't like I had time to prep or get my rounds. So when you see the battle going, I mean, as it, the battle transitions from the the, the, the three stand rounds to the five sudden death rounds, that's just me pulling rhymes out my hat, just going crazy, just going in full battle mode because I had new Mills. Me and Mills was at mutual friends from Poster Boy, my nigga Shahid out of Harlem. You know, they was all managed by Cool of Love. Cool of Love managed Mace. He managed Poster Boy and he managed Cardan. So they was my, my guys way before me even making the show because I was already fucking with um, Black Key. And Black Key was coming up here fucking with Hip Dog. Hip Dog knew... Mary J. Blige, he knew Jada Kiss, he knew Sheik, he knew uh, Ghost. We was already fucking with niggas in New York prior to that. So uh, prior to me coming to New York doing, actually taping the show, I'm in Philly. So I'm already back and forth trying to make it, having meetings, playing my demo, battling J. Hood in front of uh, Jada Kiss and Yonkers. I'm already doing the whole rapper shit at that time. It's just I knew niggas and then I didn't get my shot yet. I was over the BET Awards when Nelly won the shit, when Nelly was the shit. They was Nelly was signed to Cool of Love also. So you can see I'm not I'm making pure sense. Around that time, I was fucking with niggas. Niggas just wasn't giving me my shot. And niggas wasn't opening their doors to give me a situation. When the making the band situation came, Puff came to me like, yo, nigga, I know there's some fucked up shit, but this is what you gotta do. This is you paying dues. Let me see what you do with this, and then we you you're promised the future over here. And and he did that. Mm. Crazy backstory. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.